They say education is the best equalizer and to uphold the phrase, the United Party for National Development UPND administration is implementing the free education policy from primary to secondary levels to make sure that every child goes to school. Despite the existing free education policy, there are other problems that persist in rural areas like Lomezi district such as lack of education materials which often compel the children to miss classes. Others are forced to attend classes on barefoot or using plastic slippers just like was the case for some learners at Luasila Primary School in Lomezi constituency. To help address the gaps that exist in the education sector, World Vision and the Forum for African Women Educationalists in Zambia, Faweza, in 2021, embarked on the Uplift Education Project in Eastern Province. The project has brought positive change among pupils who are happy to be among beneficiaries of books, uniforms, and shoes, among other materials. Elizabeth Mwenya says the intervention is timely. I didn't have a bag, school. I didn't have school shoes. Books, pens, pencils, rubbers, but now I have. Ken Mushaka says he used to miss classes due to lack of shoes, but that it will be a thing of the past. It is not easy if you don't have these things. You have to go and do some peace works. No wonder some end up quitting school. Luasira Primary School teacher mentor Clement Mbewe tells Zanis News in an interview that the project has helped to improve the performance of learners. At the coming of this project, at least, it has helped in so many ways. So as I'm speaking to you right now, uh, I'm happy to say that our learners have got shoes, our learners have got school bags, our learners have got books, pens, rulers, just to mention a few. Otherwise, this project has really helped our learners. And if all it can continue this way, we are going to have a good number of learners coming to school. School head teacher Edina Soko thanked non state actors for their support towards education in Zambia. Well, these learners, they are vulnerable. They didn't have uh, enough materials to use, for example, books. Some didn't even have books. Some were even about to drop out. But because of the program, the APRI program, uh, they have assisted the, the APRI, they have assisted the learners to continue with the education. Patrick Soko, Zanis News, Lomese District, Eastern Province.